Hello, this is Photography Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm reviewing Ghost Song. The game is available for the PC and Xbox, PlayStation and Nintendo consoles. Ghost Song is a sci-fi side-scrolling metroidvania developed by Old Moon. So what is it like to play? Well, control-wise, I'd say it's a fairly deliberate and methodical type of game. It's not one where you're a lightning-fast character whizzing around the environment. Movement is fairly laboured, which does add to the sense of danger, and your life revolves around health, stamina, and energy, with the latter being available for special secondary fire attacks on your firearm. <laughs> So what do you actually do in Ghost Song? Well, exploration is the key, and as you explore the desolate world, you'll fight varied enemies, hoover up nanogel, find modules you can attach to your suit, and take on some fairly underwhelming bosses. The nanogel is dropped by dead enemies, and can be used to level up your suit or purchase items from traders. The combat is pretty satisfying, with a main blaster that can overheat, and a secondary function that relates to your installed mods. You can also use a handheld item such as a shield, a sword, hammer or other stuff. The game is a balance between exploring for long enough to get to the next checkpoint, but if you die in between you drop your nano gel and you've got to go and retrieve it. In classic metroidvania style the environment seems larger than it actually is. It does this by locking certain pathways behind new skills. Skills that you'll obtain by beating key bosses or finding hidden modules. Enemies range from twisted robots, infected humans and bizarre creatures with enough variety to provide a sustained challenge. As I said earlier, energy is a key thing you have to manage. This also applies to how many modules you can install at one time. Modules fall into two categories, one that affects your suit by giving you buffs or perks, secondly are the weapon ones that provide you with a varied secondary fire option. In terms of the world, I would say it's not exactly a spectacular place to explore, but it is intriguing. There are very few save points, so expect long, dangerous treks through these mysterious locations, hoping you can survive long enough to reach the next safe haven. The game itself offers players very little guidance, it doesn't hold your hand at all, it just lets you figure it out. This is one of the strengths of the game, it encourages you to explore and the more you explore the better your chances will be because you'll find new items and new things that will aid you. The only part of the game that I found annoying were these sections where you had to carry key items back to the hub. Now these parts usually came after travelling through really difficult zones and killing a tricky boss. Now you might think, what's the problem with that? Well, so let's say you kill that boss. You get the item, but you've got zero health left. Tough. You've got to travel all the way across the map to the hub, and if you die, too bad. You're back to the point of origin, but the key difference to the rest of the game is you don't get any health back. And now, this could really break the game for a lot of gamers. I mean, for me, it took three hours at one point to get one thing back to the, the, the hub. Very annoying. You know, this is a, it's not a massive irritation, you get through it, but it does kind of leave a little bit of a sour taste in your mouth for a little while, but in general, it's an interesting game world, it's satisfying combat, it's got good progression, and it's got an interesting story under the surface. Visually, Ghost Song, it's not stunning, but it, you know, it has everything it needs, it's clean, it's solid, it's, uh, it's something that would appeal to the sci-fi fans. Menus, well put together, no technical issues, so good, good in that regard. Sound really blissful dreamy music you know wonderfully atmospheric voice acting actually is quite good and also quite intriguing in some regard i don't want to give away the story but there's a lot of intrigue here animal 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 Okay, good and bad points. What's good? It's a very hard game to stop playing. The simple loop and satisfying gameplay keep you engaged throughout the whole story. Combat is deliberate, but enjoyable. Progression is very well balanced. 
and it's a pretty immersive world to explore with some really interesting characters. Bad points, gameplay can be a bit slow and laboured. There is very little in the way of map signposting, meaning you'll really be wandering around for hours. The boss fights are pretty bang average, and carrying shit parts across the map will drive you nuts. Okay, verdict, Ghost Song is a top tier Metroidvania with addictive, satisfying and compelling gameplay. Yes, it may be quite obscure, and it leaves you to figure out everything for yourself, but in an age where AAA games are being ruined by constant hand-holding, Ghost Song is a refreshing, independent experience. In terms of progression, it's bang on the money, and story-wise, it's really good as well. Probably the best indie Metroidvania I've played since Salt and Sanctuary a few years ago. Really enjoyed it from start to finish, and I would definitely recommend it to fans of the genre. So scoring, I'd give Ghost Song, I'd give it an 8.5 out of 10. That's the review. Thanks for watching. This is Photography Gamer, signing off. Cheers.